nobody was videoing back then, very few. And, uh, you know, it was exciting just to take the camera in the woods. It was exciting just to get a doe, you know, come up there and, and get it on, on video. As much as I love the turkey hunt, my favorite piece of footage ever had to be the water buck. And if I remember right, it was the first time I ever took one on video. And it's the first real bow buck that Cuz had filmed. And, uh, you know, we'd struggle with that. And we got so much turkey footage, but we bow hunted and bow hunted and bow hunted. Well, of course, we got a few does here and there, but we're never taking a nice buck or it, it was just so hard. Just, I guess we almost felt like we never do it. We might almost give up on the deer. And it was, uh, you know, we were hunting right here in Mississippi on a friend of ours place. And it was a good place, but still, we've been there a couple of days. It'd been kind of warm and rainy. We hadn't seen anything, just like we had I, I, probably a year or two of doing this. And uh, I think the last morning we were there, it, it turned off cold, it was overcast like today, but it had just quit raining. And, you know, I know more about it. That's a great morning to go. Back then, you know, it was just we went because we were there. And we just took two climbers and waded off in the edge of that swamp, had no clue about anything. Looking around with flashlights before daylight. I remember climbing a tree about that big around with a climbing stand, probably not over 12. It was crooked too. And you know, cuz is hauling all that stuff up here, climbing right behind me. On this morning, it was cold, and the guy dropped us out just kind of in the middle of nowhere. He said, and if you walk to your right out through there, there's a slough. Just he said, if you get on the edge of that slough, the deer walk up and down there. So we just went in in the dark, flashlights and all. And, uh, found two trees pretty close together and we were using climbing stands and it, it took a while to get all that stuff up but we sat there and sat there and you know it got daylight and it was so cold that there was a little bit of ice fo had formed on the side of that slough and Toxie was looking over there and he whispered to me he said man what you gonna do if I shoot a deer and he runs in that water and we hadn't seen a deer in three days and I told him I said if you shoot a deer and I film it if it runs out in that water, I'll go get it. And I'm telling you, it wasn't 10 minutes. Here comes this big old buck. Hey, cuz, you're getting pretty good with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get him. Uh, I'm on film it. Let's get down. Do it, Bubba. It's great to think about the water buck hunt because it was more than just, you know, Cuz's first video film, my first, you know, it's probably the biggest one I'd shot at that time with a bow. And, uh, but there were so many little special things about it, you know, us doing that together and then everything that's transpired since then. Uh, the way that it turned out, and, and above all else, uh, the, the whole fun, we never, as much as we got a little, we never captured the fun of, of what happened afterwards. That just was icing on the cake. That was such a classic. Good. Would you like a little background music? It's 33 degrees. <laughs> Ask me, do I care? Come on, more. Put the boots on. Temporarily, there for a minute, I forgot that I'd said, I'm gonna wait out there and get it, but Toxie didn't let me forget that. So we got out and uh, I went out there and uh, I stuck my hand in the water first and I said, man, I believe I can handle it. So I took my, I knew it was gonna be cold. I took my hunting clothes off and stripped down to my long john and uh, I stuck my toe in that water and I'm telling you, it was frightening, to say the least. It was so cold. Hey, cuz. You got some dry clothes to put back on? Yeah, I got some at the camp. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Pant you got long underwear on? Yeah, I can Take your away. pants. No, take your pants off. I have done this a many times with my old papa. Chasing down that. deer and ducks for him. We can't show all that on video. No, you can show your underwear. You got to. No. Come on. Let's do it. There you go. Nice, that's just sweatpants. That's all you do, you, you play in the basketball gym in it. Your hat, <clears throat> say, no, I'll leave your hat on.
You're, you're lucky. I was hoping it would get right about to your waistline. Massive. I know. He filmed all that, and after 15 years, I can go to different places after all this TV, and inevitably everybody that comes up says, "Man, I saw you grab that deer in your underwear." It was a, for some reason, that was a big deal to everybody. To me, it was a big deal, but it was. Uh, it's always going to be known as the water buck, and uh, hey, again, I'm glad we had our little camcorder there to grab all that. Seven. Seven. That's the biggest seven point I ever killed. Yeah. What do you think? I think I'd do it every day of the week. <laughs> I love it.